and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome to day 10 of Dunk Every Day and do I have a banger for you today. First of all, I am doing a medium dunk session, so I'm going up to 9-6 off of all of my approaches. Then I have a vertical jump slash knee strengthening workout. We got some plyometrics and some post chain work. So my lower back, my glutes, my hamstrings, etc. And then I'm going to talk about why you might be strong, but you still can't jump high. If you can lift a lot of weight, if you can squat 1.5 times your body weight, if you can deadlift two times your body weight, but you still can't dunk a basketball, I'm going to give you five reasons why that might be so, and I'll tell you what to do to fix it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my collagen mixed with vitamin C, and I'm gonna take this joint mobility formula. All of this is from First Form. Link will be down below in the description and in the pinned comment. Of all of my videos, you can see all the supplements that I take. So this looks like a lot of supplements, but it is a lot of supplements, but it is collagen, vitamin C. We have my joint mobility formula. We have fish oil, we have protein, creatine, a green and reds powder, and we have a multivitamin. So all of your staples, do you need all of these? Absolutely not. Will they help? Yes, they will. So link will be down below in the description and the pinned comment, but I'm gonna drink this and then let's get to it. Hey, popping like I'm post to. Watch out for the people that ain't close to. Speak a little something you can talk. This is Kevin, let's see what he has to say. Yo, what up? What up, what up? Upload the rest of the uh, the clips for the clips channel before practice, so that'll be in there. One thing, it's really important. Um, you're on YouTube right now. I need you to say something to the people that's inspiring for the day. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning to get out here and make money. You think anybody else is doing that? Yeah, maybe some, but not everybody, and that's why we're different. You ain't wake up at no 5 a.m. Swear to God. Hey. I've been out here since 5.30 making money. Hey, we out here grinding. I woke up at like 7.30, but we ain't going to talk about that. Hey, let's go. I went to bed at like 8.30 though. Hey, that's, that's how it should be. Go to bed at 8.30, wake up at 5.30. If more people did that, I promise you, more people would see results and more people would take action in their life. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Alright, peace. Toast too. I ain't tryna hear about what you won't do. Moving like I mean to. Hit the ground running like the rent do. Speak a little something that you into. I ain't tryna hear about what you been through. Like, hold up, hold up. Say what's the hold up. I got the pack, who got the roll up. I'm tryna pull up. It seems like every time I show up, it gotta go up. See the drip, they see the glow up. Oh, now they know us. See, it's funny how my pockets out of shape, but I fit for the flex. Clear the phone call, hit my chick with a text. Parlay through the bird with my drip from the checks. Save a couple hundred, buy your bitch with the rest. I prefer my reefer with Henny and Coke. All right, guys, so now we have our dunk session. Today's a medium intensity day, so I'm going from eight feet all the way to nine, six. Four jumps at each height, once off of each approach. So in the end of it, it comes out to 72 jumps total for going from low intensity to medium intensity, stopping at nine, six, making sure that we do not go past nine, six. And guys, one other thing that I wanted to mention is that I always do my dunk sessions or my jump sessions in the middle of my workout, but it's always after my warm up and after my plyometrics, but normally before my power, my strength and any hypertrophy or prehab work that I wanna do. But anyways, let's get into it. Eight feet all the way to nine, Nine, six, once off of each approach at each height. Let's go. Please don't be stingy, got plenty to smoke. Show up and act up and back to the crib. I do not stun, I just rap what I live. Seem like they doing the most for the clout. Did what I said so they know what I'm about. Show up and act up and back to the crib. I do not stun, I just rap what I live. Hey, winning like I ought to. I ain't wanna do it, but I got to. Smoking what my doctor told me not to Got these niggas wishing they was hot too Ballin' like I need to Got my exes wishing for a redo Smell the marijuana when I speed through Hit her with a tip, that's a preview Hold up, wait up, bitch, get your weight up Shit, get your money, not your hater Boy, draw a play up I flip my wrist, this shit a lay up She wanna lay up I gotta get it, I'ma stay up I'm all the way up I got my pay up I ain't playing with you hoes I'm a coach now Commentating niggas do the most now I be somewhere booted with my toes down Made a baby two day with her nose down I prefer my reefer with Henny and Coke Please don't be stingy, got plenty to smoke Show up and act up and back to the crib I do not stun, I just rap what I live Seem like they doing the most for the... See what I'm saying? 
what I mean, guys? There's just no spring. There's just no pop off of my left foot. That's the ankle that I sprained, obviously. So that shows you how important it is to have a strong ankle complex. Because right now, my ankle is weak. So my bounce is weak. You gotta strengthen up your feet and your ankle. When no staring well, shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hells. Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris well. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel. You know I had to bring it to the... All right, guys, we're gonna call it right there. So let's hit the rest of this workout. And then let's talk about five reasons why you might be strong but unable to jump high. Back again so highly. Just that back in my back flow, we back to change the climate. Just that back in my back flow, we bring the force like Tommy. Back in my, back in my back flow. Back in my, yeah, yeah, back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, yeah, yeah, I'm back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, this my, back in my bag flow. Uh. Back again, yeah, we keep on stacking it, what's happening? Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then. Life has been a movie, yeah, so shout out to the cameraman. Pull up to the scene, it's going down like a avalanche. Steady going up like a travel plan. Homer Simpson face, lucky power plan. Yeah, I'm off that dope, like I'm back again to visit at the Millie's. I don't club hers, give the word if it's a city, love forgive me. Still having motion, dog, so why would I slow it? Make it rain on them, bust a the band, then you throw it. All right, guys, so we are done with our workout. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the good microphone, and then we're going to talk about five reasons why you might be strong. You might be able to squat 1.5 or two times your body weight. You might be able to trap bar deadlift two times your body weight, but you still can't jump high. Let's get it. It's enough to go around. Yeah, you probably knew it's then, but really, you don't know it's now. Niggas let it show and tell, but all my niggas know me well. It was either chase a dream or go to jail, but none of us ain't going. Hey, going. All right. Five reasons why you are strong, but you cannot jump high. Five reasons why you can produce a lot of force. You can squat 1.5 to two times your body weight. You could trap bar deadlift two times your body weight, but you still got no bounce. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you these five reasons, but I want you to understand this first. All of these reasons are encompassed by one simple fact. You can produce a lot of force, but you cannot produce that force quickly. A vertical jump happens in about 0.2 to 0.4 seconds. So if you can produce a lot of force, but you can't produce it quickly, it's not going to matter. You can produce all the force that you want, but if you cannot produce that force quickly in 0.2 to 0.4 seconds, then it really isn't going to come to your rescue when you're trying to jump high. But anyways, let's get into five reasons why you are very strong, but you cannot jump high. Reason number one, you are lacking rates of force development. The rate at which you can develop force. So what I'm going to do for you while I explain each one of these five reasons is I'm going to give you the problem, your problem as to why you are very strong but you can't jump high, and then I'm going to give you the solution as to what you should do moving forward in your training. So reason number one is you are lacking rate of force development. So the problem is that you cannot produce that force quickly. The rate at which you produce force is very slow. So the solution is that you need to do more rate of force development training. And what I mean by this is you need to start training more between 30% and 80% of your one rep max. If you are very strong, but you can't jump high, you need to be between 30 and 80% and you need to be moving the weights as fast as possible. You shouldn't be going above 80% of your one rep max if you're trying to work on rates of force development. Now, this is not to say that you should ever completely neglect strength training. You need to be very strong, but to focus on rate of force development, it needs to be a little bit lighter so that you can move it faster. You can't move heavy weights very fast. So, Heavy weights are not the best when it comes to rate of force development training. So 30% to 80% of your one rep max in a squat, a trap bar deadlift, a high pull, a rear foot elevated split squat. You need to be in between these percentages, moving the weights as fast as possible. Your intent should be going from point A to point B as fast as humanly possible. Another thing that you could do to improve your rate of force development is do weighted jumps like dumbbell box jumps or dumbbell squat jumps because jumping is a fast movement and if you are holding weight that means that you're going to be holding resistance so by jumping you can be sure that you are moving fast you are using velocity you are producing force fast but you still have some resistance there so you can be sure that you are probably going to be in that speed to power ratio of your percentage of your one rep max you're probably going to be somewhere between 20 to 60 percent of your one rep max depending on how heavy you go with your dumbbells but weighted jumps are a 
good thing to do if you are strong, but you cannot jump high. And the very last thing that I want to mention when it comes to rate of force development is you should probably be doing speed or power training instead of your strength training. So you have your hypertrophy, you have your strength, you have your power and you have your speed. You should probably be doing more power and speed, but I just, I wanted to mention that. But if you are training between 30 and 80% of your one rep max, you are definitely going to be training for power. Um, but then you also want to train a little bit in the speed, which is going to be 30% or less of your one rep max or even body weight. But I'm going to talk about those right now. Reason number two, why you might be strong, but you can't jump high is because you are lacking reactive strength. So reactive strength is the ability to switch from an eccentric to a concentric during dynamic movement. So if you can't do that quickly, then you are not going to be able to produce force quickly. So the best way, so that's the problem. You cannot go from the eccentric to the concentric very rapidly. The solution is to start to add in plyometric based training in reactive based training. So you want to improve your reactive strength. The best way to do this is plyometrics, sprints, depth jumps, drop jumps, pogo jumps, bounding, hurdle jumps. These, I don't know why I put 10 fingers up right there, but these are the best reactive strength exercises that you can possibly do. So reactive strength training is going to be what you need to do to go from that eccentric to the concentric as rapidly as possible. Reason number three, why you might be very strong but you still can't jump over a jelly bean is because you might be lacking starting strength. Starting strength is your ability to turn on as many muscle fibers, to recruit as many muscle fibers as possible at the start of a movement. So if you start and you do an explosive movement and you you don't have the ability to recruit as many muscle fibers as possible or turn on as many muscle fibers as possible at the beginning of that movement, then you are not going to be jumping very high. So that is the problem. The solution to starting strength is to start doing reactive base training. And I don't mean like plyometrics, like sprints and depth jumps like we just talked about. I mean like telling a buddy to tell you when to go and then immediately doing your squat from the bottom to the top. Pin squats are very good from this. So rest the bar like you're doing a pin squat and then tell your buddy, tell me when to go and tell him to make it random. Every time that he says go, you immediately explode up as fast as possible to work on your starting strength. You can improve your starting strength. Another thing that I like to do with my athletes is I use the app Switched On. So it's called Switched On Training. And what you could do is it shows you right here. Um, you can put in colors and I tell them every time it turns green, you go up and down as fast as possible. So we do this with pin squats. Every time it turns green, as soon as they see the green, they go up and down as fast as possible and wait till the next green. So the training is random. You don't just get to do your reps whenever you want. As soon as you see the color green, you go up and down as fast as possible, working on your starting strength. As soon as your buddy says, go, put them behind your back. As soon as he says, go, you're up and down as fast as as possible reacting to that stimulus. So this is a good thing to do if you are lacking starting strength. Also, and I almost forgot, one other thing that you could do to improve your starting strength is do isometrics. So yielding isometrics, the isometrics where I was talking about in my other video where I said squat down into a joint angle, hold it for four to five seconds and then explode up. Um, overcoming isometrics, these are all great because what isometrics do is it teaches your muscles to recruit more muscle fibers in any given dynamic sporting action. So if you have the ability to recruit more muscle fibers because you train with isometrics very often, then normally you're starting strength is going to be able to be higher because you have the ability to recruit more muscle fibers and normally you have the ability to turn on more muscle fibers at the beginning of any dynamic movement like a vertical jump. So add in isometrics wherever you see fit during your training. Reason number four why you might be strong but you still can't jump high is relative strength. Your strength might be high but your strength relative to your body weight may not be high. So think about this right now. Imagine putting on a 50 pound weight vest and trying to jump higher than you could right now without that 50 pound weight vest. Obviously, you can't jump as high when you have 50 pounds strapped to your core. Even 10 pounds or 20 pounds can make a big difference. So when I sprained my ankle, I started eating whatever I want and I was playing in four basketball leagues and after I sprained my ankle, I was not playing in four basketball leagues. So I continued to eat whatever I want, but I stopped all my activity and I gained about 20 pounds. And right now I'm doing fat don't fly and I'm still trying to get that off very, very slowly. And 
with this coming off, but my strength relative to my body weight was not as good than when I was very lean. So if you are very strong, but you can't jump high, you have to think, do I have excess body fat? Because a good body fat percentage that you want to be for a lean athlete, an explosive athlete is between six and 13%. So what I would do if I were you is I would look at these pictures right here that I'm going to put on the screen and I would assess which picture do I actually look like? What is my actual body fat percentage? And if it's above 13%, you might need to reduce a little bit of body fat to be more explosive. So that is number four. Reason number four, why you might be very strong, but you can't jump high relative strength. And reason number five, why you might be strong, but you still can't jump high is that you may have weak ankles or weak knees. So if you have any knee pain, I promise you, you have energy leaks when it comes to your vertical jump. If you have weak ankles, like myself right now, I sprain my left ankle, there's absolutely no pop to my left ankle anymore because I sprained it, it's not as strong, the, the ankle complex is just, it's not, there's no integrity or strength to my ankle right now. Well, there's some, but not as much as I need for a high vertical jump. But if you have knee pain, or if you have ankle pain, or if you are just weak in the knees or weak in the ankles, I promise you, you have energy leaks in your vertical jump. So you need to patch those up by doing ankle strengthening exercises and knee strengthening exercises. You might need to reduce your load for a very short time for the time being, and then slowly progressive overload as you strengthen up with prehab and rehab exercises. But that is number five. You may have weak ankles or ankle pain or knee pain, and only you know this. You got to be honest with yourself, and that can cause energy leaks in your vertical jump. But anyways, guys, these were five reasons why you might be strong but you cannot jump high. And remember, the one overarching thing that all of these are encompassed in is that you can produce a lot of force, but you cannot produce force quickly. So you need to assess, is it my relative strength? Is it my reactive strength? Is it my rate of force development? Is it my starting strength? Or do I have weak ankles and do I have knee pain? So take that for yourself. This is going to be it for this video. Like this video if you like it. Comment jump, J-U-M-P, for a free vertical jump training program. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. I post these videos every single morning at 9 a.m. So stay tuned. Come on the journey with me of dunking every day. But I will see you guys tomorrow for Dunk Every Day, day 11. Peace. Again, yeah, we keep on stacking. It was happening. Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then. Life has been a movie, yeah. So shout out to the cameraman. Pull up to the scene, it's going down like an avalanche. Steady going up like a travel plan. Homer Simpson face, lucky power plan. Yeah.